chairman is aware of this, and I don't know who else is aware of this, but the uh, South Georgia Regional Commission is going to be hosting a meeting, I guess, in February the 28th, I believe it is, somewhere along that time frame. Yeah, I think it's one of those days I'm gone. Somewhere around that time frame over in Waycross, uh, and they're going to uh, make another run at a the regional peace box. And uh, well, two, two counties. Two counties have yeah. uh, so done a referendum on right. that. Well, they, a resolution. they did a resolution. Yeah. And uh, so, and basically what a you know a regional peace box is, is a regional peace box would be one of those where uh, you got an eight member panel, you come up with a project list, that project list goes to a executive committee, the executive committee kind of narrows it down. Uh, but all of the sales tax that is generated in those counties, in that region, goes into one pot, and then they pull out of that pot to go do those uh, to, go, to go do those projects. So, uh, so that's kind of a little bit of information about regional peace ball. We will we'll kind of go through that. Uh, the uh, the DOT has uh, passed that House Bill 270 now, which allows uh, either the formation of a T-SPLOS for a county or for a region. Uh, so, uh, you know, is, the, you know, is this T-SPLOS uh, a county spot or is it a region spot? It can be either one. Uh, you know, the county could look at doing our own spots just for our current needs or uh, the, uh, we, if we chose, we want to get become part of the region. We be part of the region. Uh, if it's developed within the RDC boundaries, how is the funding distributed? Seventy-five percent of all the money that's generated has got to go to that project list, and that project list is what's on the referendum. And and that project list is uh, is set in stone. Just you know, I mean, those projects have to be done. You can't reallocate that money for anything else. Uh, what if, what if your forecast tells you to say plus is the source. Then, then they just fall off the line. Okay. They just fall off the line. You don't have to do, you don't have to do the projects. You just can't get the money on the hand. That's right. You can't, you can't say, you can't have one project on here and say, oh, well, another project has popped up and it's a better project, so I'm going to replace it. Uh, of that 75%, 30% of those projects have to be on the stick. Uh, so those are the, the, the statewide transportation improvement plan. Uh, you know, one of the big uh, projects that are coming up here in Miles County is this Lake Park Belleville Road right here is they're fixing to uh, either four or five lane Lake Park Belleville Road in conjunction uh, with the new overpass. And when we get down to the sea limits of Lake Park, uh, they're either going to uh, go to the uh, go to the right before you get to the railroad track, or go to the right just after the railroad tracks, and they're going to tie it in with. Old with 376 coming out of Edwards County uh, because right now those uh, produce trucks come out of the city, they're all 376, turn to the right, and meet me at turn to the left. There's a lot of traffic accidents right there in that little, uh, you know, less than a tenth of a mile because of the turn right, turn left deal. So uh, that's a, that's a project that's on the still. Uh, uh, with the allocation, uh, you know, was the allocation of funds? Uh, for a local tea spots. If we decided to do it locally, 70% uh, of that project, of the, product, of the money, can go to our local projects. We do not have to develop our list uh, if, we, if we keep it local. Uh, they encourage a list to be developed to put in front of the, uh, the, the voters, but they do, they, that, that is not a mandatory list uh, that you put that out there. And then still 30% of whatever money comes in has to go to the state uh, for the state. Um, and I just gave you a couple of examples of the state projects are exit 2, exit 11, exit 22, exit 29, and the Lake Park Melville Road Widening Project. Uh, if we develop a local T spot, uh, uh, we can start collecting money as early as July 1st of this year. Uh, it is a county tax. Uh, how much will the tax be? Uh, it can be up to one cent uh, if the city and county both agree to. Uh, 
and it can be up to points, uh, three quarters of a cent uh, if the city does not agree to go in conjunction with the county. So the county can, the county can do this on their own without the support of the city, and the county can, can generate uh, three quarters of a percent uh, for, for us. But if we get the city support on it, then you can go up to one percent. Uh, and it's a five-year five -year tax from whatever you start collecting. So, uh, that's, that's a penny, right? That's a penny or three quarters of a penny. Um, uh, again, uh, here we said uh, here the county has to, we have to put the city on notice uh, about the uh, a taste box, but the, the cities do not have to uh, concur with us. Uh, they can choose not to be a part of it, uh, or they can be a part of it. Uh, and you know, the question has been asked, uh, can the city, uh, you know, could the city of Alaska come in and impose their own case clause? Well, the answer is no, uh, because the way that the referendum is, is written, uh, the city must contain 90% of the county's area and 60% of the population. They don't meet either one of those requirements, uh, so they can't, they couldn't, uh, they could put this case box out there on their own. Um, it does have to go on a ballot. It does have to be voted on by the, uh, uh, by the citizens of the county. And again, you do not have to, if you just do a local uh, project, or a local case box, it does not have to go uh, on, the, uh, on the ballot. Uh, and you know, I think that uh, Harrison, uh, the, the five year, Five-year projection. Uh, yeah, he's somewhere around about 130, 125 to 130 million dollars. It's about one about a five-year projection. So you're, uh, you know, the, you know, 30 percent of that is going to, uh, you know, knock you down to about, uh, you know, roughly 80 million dollars that you could uh, spend on, uh, you know, on local, on local projects if you so chose to do so. Thank you. 
regional. It's a 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 regional. It's a
we need to make a decision about what we're going to do with the truck route so that we can get some firm numbers on what we're going to have so that will help us make a decision about what we need to do with the T-spots and our list. Certainly, a shorter route, a better route, less costly, would allow us then to do some other work that needs, that needs to be done in Lansdale that would benefit more of the citizens as a whole. And the reality, too, is if, if your t spots if, if the only thing on your t spots list that's put in front of the voters is a truck bypass that benefits downtown by the Austin, I don't know that the vast majority of the voters would say, I mean, even though
relocations of you know, the houses and all different things like that, that that becomes a different set of regulators that you can drive around if you need to. And that's that's all I have if you have any questions. If a county does an individual tax, there cannot be a regional tax until the county, yes, that individual, ceases collecting. Right. You can't have both. You can't have the regional and the county. Correct.
Quando aparecer, eu estou. Ha, ha, ha.